Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques that help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm calling this series Legs to Stand On because I really love um, doing standing work in reformer classes. It's great for balance, it's great for proprioception, and it's great to really get some functional dynamic strength. And a position that maybe we don't do as much as we should, um, standing on our two feet. So this is um, kind of a variation of the lunge exercise, the traditional exercise that many of you know is standing on the floor, right? And you could do this whole series standing on the floor, but what I find is when the, um, when the client is on the floor, it's really easy for them to get into lumbar extension. And it's harder for them to find more pure extension in their hip if they don't already have it. And so the box, while it can be a little scary, it also lifts the floor so that they have more access. And this, is, this will feel more like a step forward, even though I'm reaching into the back space. It's more the distance between my back leg and my front leg in gait. And so this, this exercise has three parts. So the first part is just to work the floating carriage leg into extension. I'm trying to stand nice and tall on my standing leg and hip, and I'm keeping my pelvis square, not rotating. So you want them to find just that one piece. And then after a few repetitions of that, you bring them into that pure extension, and then you have them reach the pelvis back. So I'm keeping both legs straight-ish, and I'm sending the carriage back by moving my pelvis in space. Notice this standing leg is not bending, and this one isn't reaching anymore. They're just staying where they were, and we're taking the pelvis back in space. So that's part two. Part three is to bend the standing knee and take the, um, uh, I have to stop, Angelo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, so, um, sorry, yeah. So uh, this is a leg to stand on. So I like standing work for many reasons. One is it uh, requires dynamic balance, and it's also very functional. So I've brought the floor up here just to make simple hip extension a little bit more accessible for folks who find that very difficult when they're standing on the floor, not to immediately go into their lumbar spine. So this exercise has several parts that I pull apart and add on one by one. So the first step is just to work that neutral extension of the hip. And we're trying to separate the pelvis from the leg bone and just work whatever extension they have. And then from there, you're gonna have them reach back and hold. Now I'm gonna take the carriage out from the pelvis a little bit further and then come back in. So notice there's no change in the two standing legs. We're just letting the pelvis travel in space. So that's step two. Step three is to hold in that open position and then bend the standing knee so the carriage comes out even further. Now I'm doing working this leg in this open position so that as I start to press out, my standing knee stays in line with my standing heel. What you will find is that if you don't already have the carriage open, this will happen, right? And we don't want that knee going forward. I'm gonna ask that you keep the knee in line with the heel. So that's the third step. And then you would have them hold that lunge position and then it's just the back knee bends and straightens. So here again, we're really working the dynamic balance. We're working both hips and we're having to stand strong in the core. And so you finally bring them into what would be almost like a knee stretch here. And then to come out of it, you just reverse and pull everything back home. And of course you re repeat it on the other side so you have two legs to stand on. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. See you next time and never stop learning.